Come in. Hey. Hey. All right, look, I need my paycheck today. I can't help you with that today. I mean, is there nothing, like how, I mean, how could I, you know, can we talk to a manager or something? You, you can, and, and that's how the, the process starts. Okay, well then, I'll go get Ron. He's They're here, right? They're all gone. They're all gone. All the managers are gone. We have to start this tomorrow. How, and I'm I about need, to shut down. I need this right now. I can't help you with that. I'm sorry. Okay. I just got a call. I have medical bills piling up. I've got the managers on my butt this morning. I was driving, getting... Um, <sighs> you need to calm down. This sucks! So, Bug Group team, I've got a question for you. Which drop was it that made that cup overflow? Was it the first one or was it the last one? Well, the answer is it's both. In fact, it's every single drop that went into that cup that caused it to overflow from the first to the last. And this is not that different from the story that you're about to see. It may have looked like Dakota walking into that office and exploding at Lisa was a totally isolated and inappropriate event. And in no way am I excusing that type of behavior. But each of us is exactly like this cup. And we are constantly being filled up with water, whether it's us feeling hurt or angry or retaliated against or just being frustrated. Emotions are sometimes tough to deal with and they're constantly filling up our cup. And the truth is you just never know how full someone's cup is. So let's tune in and see exactly what got Dakota to that point that caused him to tip. Call Ron Exum. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Uh, this is Dakota. I was just calling to let you know that I'm going to be at work just probably right on time because the traffic is uh, terrible this morning. Okay. How are you up to All right. Yeah, I got you. I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'm getting there as quick as I can. Oh, dude, stay in your lane, idiot. That is my number. Come on. What is All right, so I I was trying to ring in here. Okay, show me. And then it asked for my number and I put it in and Oh, it worked this time. Sorry, I, I it wasn't working before. Okay, let's let's get back to work. We're busy. Oh, Ron. Hey, um, I mean, I got here on time. Is there any way that you could go back in and adjust my clock in time? No, no, we don't do that here. Hello, this is Dakota. Hi, Dakota. My name is Cassandra. I'm calling from Signal Health. How are you today? Uh, I'm all right. How are you? Good. I'm calling about the outstanding balance of $5,527 from your wife's surgery a few months ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm working on that. I'm in the office right now. 
I'm gonna try to get my paycheck advanced or something to, so I can take care of that. Okay, it is imperative. You are over a month late already. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I'm sorry about that. Come in. Hey. Hey. All right. Look, I need my paycheck today. I can't help you with that today. So as you can see, Dakota's isolated incident wasn't so isolated after all. It turns out his cup had been filling up with water all day long, and by the time he walked into that office, he just had enough. And Lisa just was a straw that broke the camel's back. And it doesn't have to be stuff that's happening at work that's filling up our cups. Sometimes it's stuff that's going on at home with family and friends, or maybe it's just traffic on the way to work. The point is, everybody's cup is always filling up, and you just never know how full somebody's cup is. So what I would ask of you, Bug Group teammates, is to try to take stuff out of people's cups by offering a helping hand, or maybe just listening to them as a friend, or just treating them with kindness. You never know when a kind word might take a little bit out of someone's cup. In this story, for instance, it could have turned out much differently had Dakota's manager treated him with a little bit more respect, or maybe Lisa had responded a little bit more kindly at the end. You just never know. So, to wrap it up, just treat others with kindness. Treat them how you would want to be treated, and keep in mind, you never know how full somebody's cup might be.